would be what shapes our unconscious views about money. Parents and grandparents play a significant role in shaping our unconscious views about money. 2. How do siblings and friends influence our money habits? Siblings, friends, and peers have a powerful impact on what we consider cool, fun, or worth spending on. 3. What can childhood beliefs about money lead to in adulthood? Childhood beliefs about money can lead to messed up attitudes, behaviors, and attitudes in adulthood. 4. Why do people often forget painful childhood experiences? Societal taboos and discomfort make people forget or gloss over painful childhood experiences. 5. How do the author's childhood fears impact their life? The fear of discussing money dominated the author's childhood, affecting dreams and decisions. 6. What role do parents play in shaping children's money beliefs? Parents pass on both positive and negative money beliefs to their children, influencing their financial mindset. 7. How can one heal from past financial wounds? Healing from past financial wounds involves understanding, empathy, and forgiveness. 8. Is there a real connection between self-worth and financial situations? No, there is no real connection between one's financial situation and inherent self-worth. 9. Why is it essential to appreciate your past according to the text? Appreciating the past, including its struggles, creates a sense of abundance and responsibility. 10. What can help in creating a positive financial future? Cultivating a positive mindset in the present, learning from hardships, and appreciating one's past can help create a positive financial future. 11. How do parents impact their children's view of money? Parents impact their children's views of money by passing on both positive and negative beliefs. 12. What societal taboo does the author mention regarding family pain? The author mentions that it's taboo to speak about family pain or drama, especially in Japan. 13. How does the author describe the impact of childhood beliefs in adulthood? Childhood beliefs about money can result in messed up attitudes, behaviors, and beliefs in adulthood. 14. According to the text, why do people forget painful childhood experiences? People often forget painful childhood experiences due to societal taboos and discomfort. 15. How did the fear of discussing money impact the author's childhood dreams? The fear of discussing money prevented the author from pursuing dreams like going to a summer camp. 16. What is the author's advice for healing past financial wounds? Healing involves understanding, empathy, and forgiveness toward oneself and others. 17. How does the text describe the connection between self-worth and financial situations? The text highlights that, despite the lack of a real connection, people often tie their self-worth to financial success. 18. Why is it taboo to speak about family pain in Japan, according to the author? In Japan, it's taboo to speak about family pain, especially when it involves hard-working fathers providing for their families. 19. How does the author suggest creating a positive financial future? By cultivating a positive mindset in the present, learning from hardships, and appreciating one's past. 20. What is the impact of childhood beliefs on adulthood behaviors? According to the text, childhood beliefs can result in messed up attitudes, behaviors, and beliefs in adulthood. 21. Why do people often forget painful childhood incidents? Societal taboos and discomfort lead people to forget or gloss over painful childhood incidents. 22. What did the fear of discussing money prevent the author from doing in childhood? The fear prevented the author from pursuing dreams, like asking to go to a summer camp. 23. What is the author's mother's advice related to money discussions with the father? The mother's advice is to wait for the father to be in a good mood before discussing money-related matters. 24. According to the text, what is necessary for healing past financial wounds? Understanding, empathy, and forgiveness are essential for healing past financial wounds. 25. 
How does the author describe the impact of childhood beliefs in adulthood? Childhood beliefs can lead to messed up attitudes, behaviors, and beliefs in adulthood. 26. Why does the author say people often tie self-worth to financial success? People learn from societal beliefs that tie self-worth to financial success throughout their lives. 27. How does the author suggest creating a positive financial future? By appreciating hardships, learning from them, and cultivating a positive mindset in the present. 28. What societal taboo does the author mention regarding family pain? The author mentions that it's taboo to speak about family pain or drama, especially in Japan. 29. How does the author describe the impact of childhood beliefs in adulthood? Childhood beliefs can lead to messed up attitudes, behaviors, and beliefs in adulthood. 30. According to the text, what is necessary for healing past financial wounds? Understanding, empathy, and forgiveness are essential for healing past financial wounds.